Hello YouTubers, may the 4th be with you. I recently went over the magic of the original Star Wars trilogy, and I decided to reflect upon the prequel trilogy. I actually think these are better than a lot of people give credit for. Uh, I've enjoyed them better than the sequel trilogy, but I think there's one thing that is vastly misunderstood. It's the journey of Anakin Skywalker, fallen from grace and turning to the dark side to become Darth Vader. But this is a trilogy that's also about the tragedy of the Jedi. No, not just Darth Plagueis the Wise, but the Jedi, and their fall, their hubris, their arrogance that caused them to be blindsided and basically be destroyed by the Sith. We have the Phantom Menace. Anakin Skywalker is introduced. He was born as a calamity, so to speak. His mother had no husband. He was born naturally through the Force. And there's some theories about Darth Plagueis or Emperor Palpatine causing him to be born through the Force. Who knows? Or maybe the Force wills it. But what's brilliant about it is the Phantom Menace is not only just the Sith arising with Darth Maul as the apprentice, but Senator Palpatine, who's the real puppet master behind the scenes. He worked with the Trade Federation to invade Naboo, and he's been working through the Republic, through their weaknesses, to gain power. Throughout this whole trilogy, that is all he wants. Now we have Jar Jar Binks introduced. Perhaps there's too much of him. People speculate maybe he's a Dark Lord. You know, he did give the Chancellor supreme powers in the second one, but that's another thing. You have Darth Tyrannus, a.k.a. Count Dooku, played by Christopher Lee. He was a master of Qui-Gon Jinn, and supposedly a master named Sypha Dyas commissioned a clone army on Kamino. So the whole time in this trilogy, Palpatine's orchestrated different elements to cause all-out war to basically get into power through chaos. His power is judged upon the Jedi. In Attack of the Clones, he talks about using them as an army, and Mace Windu's telling him, is like, we're keepers of the peace, not soldiers. And it goes to show you not only that dichotomy between the Jedi and Sith, but the Chancellor being power-hungry and also trying to destroy the Jedi in many ways. And then when they do fight, eventually through the Clone Wars and Revenge of the Sith, he catches them off guard, he tempts Anakin to the dark side. Ever since he was a little child, he's just like, oh, I'm gonna look at your future with great interest, young one. Keeps trying to turn Anakin against the Jedi throughout Attack of the Clones. And finally, Revenge of the Sith, it comes full circle. Anakin tips towards the dark side. He's not entirely like a Jedi, doesn't adopt their ways. And what really does it is the death of his mother, the dreams of her dying. He goes to Tatooine and he's too late. That is the first threshold of the dark side that Anakin Skywalker crosses. And it's such a powerful scene. He also falls in love with Padme. Romance love is forbidden. But part of it is, is because it's going to lead to fear. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. And hate leads to suffering. The Jedi's arrogance is also shown towards Anakin Skywalker and his relationship about the roles of being a Jedi, being selfless at the beginning. You get to see that in the Jedi Temple room. And what happens is that he dreams about Padme dying, and that is again the second time Anakin has fully turned to the dark side after killing Count Dooku. He fears losing her, and that fear of loss leads to anger, hate, and eventually suffering for him. Also, we get to see Darth Plagueis the Wise mentioned uh, in the opera scene. Brilliant scene, brilliant confrontation, and yeah, they killed the Jedi in a, such a grand fashion, but it's the Jedi's arrogance that did it. Another part of arrogance was Mace Windu, not ranking Anakin Jedi Master. He's Jedi Knight, which is actually a great honor if Anakin was thinking straight, but also it shows you their fear of power, power of others. That's a very fatal flaw for the Jedi. Now that they're separated, Yoda has a bad feeling and ultimately it leads to their destruction and that final confrontation, Anakin loses everything. He's a totally different person. He's been consumed by Darth Vader. That final confrontation with him and Obi-Wan is powerful. And he literally goes through a rebirth uh, a hellfire, so to speak, and becomes Darth Vader beside his master, and Padme, through the Force, dies and gives birth to Luke and Leia, the New Hope. And that is such an overlooked theme in this trilogy, I feel. Despite some of its silly, childish moments, besides some of the CGI effects, this is actually a very misunderstood trilogy. And in addition to that, with the Jedi, we also get to see how does a Republic become an Empire? Just look at our Congress right now in America, if you live in America in the United States. Is it that hard to believe that, like, through chaos, somebody who's just unfit to be a leader gets into office? It's exactly what Chancellor Palpatine did. 
And that's how he took over, not only through the Republic, but it shows you the fall of the Jedi, their arrogance, their their road to hubris led to their destruction and the Republic's destruction. They're supposed to be guardians of the peace, guardians of the Republic. And they not only fell themselves, but they fell the Republic. And uh, yeah, uh, feel free to share your favorite prequel moments. There's just so many battle moments that I love. Darth Maul was a terribly wasted character, but it's nice seeing an apprentice. Uh, work with Chancellor Palpatine, how Sith destroy each other for power, and ultimately what led Anakin to the dark side and his demise. George Lucas, say what you will about the prequels, but when it gets to Revenge of the Sith, he created a modern tragedy in this fable. And yeah, I love this. It's very different for Star Wars, but this is the last time that it actually felt like Star Wars in that world. And how it blends uh, elements from the original trilogy and ultimately leads into the original trilogy is just phenomenal. Let me know some of your favorite moments and uh, like, comment, subscribe. You can also check out the Stardust app. I have uh, reactions and reviews, and if you download it on iOS or Android, you can post your reactions and reviews to your favorite television shows or films. Follow me on Fred Film Fanatic. I'm going to be having some Star Wars reactions today. And yeah, check out my Magic of Star Wars video. Enjoy. May the Force be with you always.